students uh, today we are going to discuss uh, packet bed uh, column experiment this is the experiment packet bed column we have in our lab you can clearly see the type of particles we use as a packing materials in the bed as pearl saddles uh, particle size is 6 mm diameter of the column is 61 mm height of the column is 1000 mm so this is the packet bed okay this is the packet bed from the bottom uh, this is the uh, water inlet okay we are using water uh, here as a liquid phase uh, from here the water has to enter through the valve we have to open this valve by which the water will uh, enter now i am going to open the valve water will enter through this line and uh, this is the column students this is the column uh, so there will be two pressure tappings one, one at the bottom and another at the top one at the uh, bottom and another one at the top okay to measure the difference in pressure by making use of u2 manometer you are seeing here this is a u2 manometer which is connected to the bed okay is very important uh, element in this uh, uh, experiment here you can see the manometric fluid is uh, mercury which has a density 13600 kg per meter cube and in between you will see the graduated scale to measure the h1 and h2 okay initially you have to ensure that uh, both uh, level of manometric fluid in the limb should be same before start of the experiment for any experiment if you use uh, youtube manometer you should be very careful ensure before starting both are in same level otherwise you will get uh, false values okay so we in order to start the experiment uh, we need uh, these two uh, important element for our process one is stopwatch and another one is bucket so that we can uh, measure the flow rate that we usually do so i am just opening the flow inside okay oh, this is the first flow rate yes i have opened uh, and i am waiting for uh, uh, some uh, one minute or so so that to attain the steady state okay so importantly uh, before start doing the experiment i'll explain uh, the uh, packet bed we have bell saddles inside the packet bed uh, but it, it will not be visible for you student because uh, it has been completely covered uh, but uh, as per the packet bed is considered uh, complete bed will be filled with the packing materials this is what uh, about packet bed okay so just i am going to open uh, the valve after opening the main valve okay the water flow will be there and uh, you can clearly see uh, there is a change in h1 and h2 after the opening you can wait until for one minute so that you can take down h1 and h2 okay this is h1 you can clearly see it is about 27 and uh, next one is 20 25.6 from the top whatever the way it may be either it may be h1 or it may be this limb may be h1 value but ultimately rm is nothing but difference in height okay it depends upon you how to uh, take uh, uh, h1 and h2 what to consider h1 and what to consider h2 okay does not make makes uh, any sense that this is just a difference h1 and h2 you can consider this as an h1 or this as an h1 it is up to you don't get confused with it so now uh, we are getting some water we have opened the flow rate and the water is uh, uh, through the packet bed it is uh, coming out at the top and it has been collected at the outlet now okay so here we have stopwatch and we have to on so for uh, 10 seconds how much amount of water is collected we have to calculate so 10 seconds so again I have to uh, measure the weight of this collected water, the same process, same process as we do for other uh, processes usually for uh, fluid mechanics labs and you can note down the weight, okay, mass of water collected. So, 
Before that, you should take empty weight bucket and you have to subtract the empty weight bucket. Okay, so this is how you can continue your experiment. You can just uh, pour the water in the subway provided here. So, next reading. You have to be very careful in opening the valve as far as packed bed is considered. I have opened it. Since we have uh, mercury here, uh, we should be very careful because if you open uh, without uh, observing the changes in mercury, you know, uh, because of excess pressure, the mercury will be poured outside of the manometer. Okay? So, we should be very careful in opening the valve. Uh, for packet bed, obviously we use, uh, the manometric fluid is mercury. For fluid aged bed, we have used CCL4. Why? Because the pressure drop experienced in packet bed will be more. Okay, in order to uh, compensate the excess pressure drop, we are using manometric fluid as mercury here. Okay, since entirely the column is packed with the packing material, Pressure drop your experience will be very huge. So next reading, same process. So you need to uh, note down H1, H2. You can see the change in H1, H2 for the next flow rate. Okay, 29 and uh, this one is around 24. Okay, so again the same process of uh, collection of water. So for 10 seconds, how much amount of water is collected? Now it will be it will be getting higher value. So again, we have to measure the weight of uh, the water collected in uh, the scale, the scale which is provided. Okay, right. No problem. Uh, okay, you have to measure the weight. Uh, there may be some battery uh, getting down in this particular uh, weighing machine. So, you can weigh and you can continue your process. You can continue your process. Right, this is how you can take number of experiments as far as the packing method is considered. Okay, so when you are about to close the experiment, you can take number of uh, readings by changing the flow rate. When you are about to close the experiment, you have to close the valve closely, clockwise direction. Okay. And after that, after that, you have to close the main one. After draining completely, you have to close the main one. So this is how we can do uh, the packed bed uh, experiment and uh, it has again uh, uh, as we discussed uh, for fluid aged bed it has wide application in chemical process industries it will be used as uh, for mass it is used as a mass transfer uh, uh, equipment that will be used for uh, uh, the reaction purpose uh, so for absorption for adsorption for many kind of applications this packet bed is preferred in process industries. So, uh, we will be determining pressure drop by using the Ergen equation uh, by this uh, experiment. So, with this packet bed experiment is over. So, let us uh, discuss and meet you in another experiment in next time. Thank you.